All right, hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and pipeliner sales, pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from sunny San Diego. And today I am delighted to be joined by Jeff Cartwright, who is in Vancouver in Canada. How are you doing, Jeff? And uh, and Jeff uh, had over 30 years uh, experience in the emergency services and fire and rescue. And now you are uh, you give a lot of speeches and talk about issues um, such as resilience. And what we want to talk about today is mental health, especially mental health in the workplace. Um, I, I, Jeff, I think it's it's fair to say that the issue of mental health in the workplace has probably not been one that's been to the forefront, um, you know, generally speaking in, in the past, maybe it's become a little bit more talked about since, you know, during COVID and since COVID, but generally speaking, I think in most people's, you know, experience in the workplace, you know, mental health is not something that's particularly discussed or, or focused on. Would you agree? I, I think the, the issue with workplaces, it, it is talked about phrases like, um, you know, mental health in the workplace, but often they're not, um, a lot of workplace, the questions are doing the work to make sure to tick a box yeah. and say, we care about our customers, but do you? You really times that uh, you know I've uh, hang, with... hang on oh. hang on Jeff sorry yeah your 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 microphone I think it's it's cutting it's I'm losing every you know it's kind of cutting in and out uh, I don't know why that would be <clears throat> I was using it didn't work I didn't have my uh, uh, using my intern the uh, the internal computer. Let me um, that. Just, is, just, is it yeah, just go for a moment. Do you see those icons at the bottom there? Yeah, I just, just tried go, muting go it to, and turning it. Uh, well, go to settings, the, the, the one that's on the end. Yeah. And go to audio and just make sure it's picking up the correct audio for you. Check, check, check. I just turned. Is that better? Um, yeah, that seems to be better. better. Yeah. And noise suppression. Oh, it's not yours. Okay. Yeah, you just so want to turn me down. Echo cancel. Is that better? Yep, that's good. All right. Um, um, you can just pick it. Um, just pick it. Um, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing myself. Okay, I think maybe get that. Okay, let me. No, I'm. I'm, I'm hearing myself. I'm hearing myself. I can off the. Look at advanced options. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that seems to be okay. Let's try with that, and then just pick up your just pick up your answer from there. I'll make a note of this. Turned on the high resolution. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, you want to go ahead with your answer then? <clears throat> I mean, I I think that the uh, mental health in the workplace is time, and of of course, you know. Um, so we care about the safety of our, of our, about the, the mental well-being. The, very often, it, it's it, it, um, doing, you know, checking. You know, we we, we allow for sick days, or bullying, or, or we, um, you know, have, um, you know, operational guidelines and disagreements and and. Mm -hmm. You know, there, there's a lot of that, you know, when a work, 
workplace comes to me, um, we're, we're have our, our six absenteeism through the roof, or obviously happening. Um, you know, just dissatisfied that you know, you'll hear that, um, we need you to come in and and and, and to um, help going booking off, off sick a lot, a lot for uh, you know, stressed out. Or, or like they're not being treated fairly in the workplace, and breathing. You have to ask questions. What's work? You can't. Um, mm-hmm. Times, you know, uh, uh, an organization says, "Well, you have, have your, your employee assistance program. You have the one eight hundred numbers on the wall." Oftentimes, it boils down to the increase in stress. Or an increase mm-hmm. in, in you know world things that are bugging them, whether it's, and they don't know how to cope, and and they've never been, right. You know that's why a lot of my trainers I do are focused on you know, how to understand stress, how to under it, and and, mm-hmm. and you know it's, it's I, I very often the call, call I'll get is hey. Can do our uh, anger, um, stress, um, uh, anger management. We're having employees right. are anger. What I like to, I like to manage my money, my family. Um, those are the things I manage. I don't, don't want to manage anger and, and, and stress. And <laughs> know that, you know what, I better do some work, work on it or because this, this exceeds my ability to do stress and anger, I want to understand them. Sort of, I think, mm-hmm. why my, my training and, and has been, you know, successful. I teach people how to, to, to not and say, yeah, you need to get more sleep and you need to, right. you need to look at how you see the world and yeah. Well, because, I mean, part of it, I think, is don't we, in some ways, I think, culturally, we celebrate stress in many ways, you know, people being, you know, workaholics, overworked, you know, working every hour is like under pressure, under stress, like, and people are like, oh, I, I, I operate best under stress. So we kind of c- celebrate that. And I think people are always, I feel that sometimes people are either af- afraid or unaware um, maybe perhaps is a better way um, that this isn't an optimal way to to operate, and and ultimately, you know, this is um, this is not going to lead to anything good. Yeah, I say that, John, because I remember probably about I was uh, doing a workshop for, for so leaders in construction, and it was it was a, these companies were building shopping malls, and I was given given a lecture on on us and in the workplace and how, how to lead employees through it and it was it's got what I thought about there's a, a I'm I'm talking and in the front row there's a guy probably about 60 at the time and he's sitting there like this and he's just glaring at me and he's tight t-shirt on and, and I'm mm-hmm. thinking this guy is not liking what I'm throwing down. And, uh, you know, and I always open my my, my stuff up, understanding it, and and, and anybody got any up, and, and I thought, oh great, here we go. And he turns around, and he starts addressing everybody. I used to have a saying, and I, I was proud of it. And he goes, it was about six months ago when I had to get. Uh, pass and my do- doctor told me that my gym every, every morning I eat, eat well. He said it was entirely stress. And his present company goes right, and his son's nodding, and he goes, I "Know that stress was killing me." So you, because he knows what he's talking about, and I agree with everything. That was not, not the response I was expecting. Right, but you're a hundred percent right. You know we. Uh, the fire service were, you know, and, you know, type A personalities, we roll and, and, and um, 
be when a lot, a lot of times when I'll give a, a um, as I'm walking out, you know, people will be, be very thank me and I'll be, you know, heading for the, the, the and somebody will grab me on the coat and um, everything you said resonated with how much longer I can deal with what I'm dealing with. I stress and I, I didn't want to say it and be, and, and you know, um, when, when I was originally asked to do, do my test, to speak on the effects mm -hmm. of uh, trauma and for, for sure. and once I was assigned a coach and I sorry and she said no we're changing the story and I said I'm not getting on stage or struggles and she says Jeff you know if it helps one, one person is it worth it and I did but it's 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 thing you, you want to you know if you're I am and you're used to to to, to um, in the fact that you can get through anything, and sometimes you put put your hand up and say, "I need help." Do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and I think and I think that's the thing that's um that's really important is the is feeling like you can put your hand as you said put your hand up and ask ask for help, and and I think that's where. Obviously, organizations and, you know, companies need to, because uh, you said earlier, I mean, you can have your 1-800 numbers, you can have all of your stuff, you can have your welfare, you can send out all the emails, you can give out every booklet under the sun. But if you haven't created an environment where people feel comfortable or that it's not stigmatized to sort of go, yeah, you know something, I'm overloaded, I'm stressed, there's other stuff going on, I'm, I'm going to crack. Yeah, no, it's... It's a hundred percent. One of the things in in uh, uh, you know there's, there's to, to, you know to ensure the work, workplace. You know we, I mean, you know, um, like a mill or something like that. You always see been um, seven hundred and twelve. I guarantee you that within that diet attack, somebody that spent the weekend um, dealing with you know, clinical depression, who's going through a marital breakdown and, and, and that hurts, but it, I didn't do it at work. It's, and the more that it's so important that, it, you know, when we talk about leadership, we know that quit bad, bad jobs, they quit bad bosses out there all the time, but, you know, there's a lot we we care about our, our, our staff and we will this, this the, the organization and the employees are saying, saying yeah no they don't do, but they don't and and uh, um, one of the things that's nice you know being able to is I tell them right off the bat when I look if if you're made thing then I have no interest in working with you work mm -hmm. i i only want to work with care about doing what's right and you do with what's right your employee mm -hmm. goes down your absenteeism goes your profit <laughs> go up right yeah, yeah i'm mean, i think I think it's a. I think it's a. It's an. It's it's a very important point, though. That is that, because we see that a lot today. Is we see, you know, a lot of lip service being paid to many things. Um, and as you pointed out earlier, like it's all very well to have all that stuff in your employee handbook, or maybe to talk about, to say like, oh, you know, we're such a welcoming place, and we're this and we're that. But the reality is, is number one, is if you're not aware. Like, so your leadership, your management isn't aware of things to look for. And uh, as we said, if your people aren't comfortable coming forward, then it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what bumper stickers you put on your website. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I could say that. I mean, it's, it's tell people, you know, and, and more, more and more getting away from things like assertive, convers assertive conversations because they and and not be in a job anymore. So things get, get missed, things go on said or email and where you're saying I totally disagree with you and as long as it's it's 
question, those are healthy. And, and in, mm-hmm. you know, workplaces now, we're getting to a point where, where like, like, no, that's considered conflict. And if it's to HR and, and, and one of you has to, you know, when it comes to sales, we have new ideas and stuff. And mm-hmm. we need and to have disagreements. And, and I, when I do the, the other work I do, which is, you know, the things you see on the news the, the, or, yeah. you know, weather, weather disasters and stuff, that I shouldn't, and I support the, um, trying to get through it. And, you know, we'll go, go to a workplace full on a tragedy and spend some time with them and I'll say, okay, you know what, if families are waiting there, you're, you're welcome to, I'll see you back here tomorrow, right. or you're welcome to stick around. Sometimes they all look, look at each other and they, they, my family knows I'm safe. I, this is my other And that, that's when you really get shot at recovering. Other times, I don't be around these people. And, and so a place where people feel like they're there. And, um, that's why one of the things in, in dealing with a crisis in the workplace, people send them home, home or should I, 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 I right. ask them what they want, want to do. They know what, but, you know, we always talk about, about like, like even balance as it was formerly known, the bad, bad guy and at home is the good guy. Some people are struggling at home. They're going mm-hmm. through marital problems. They're, their their kids are driving them nuts. Like so, guess where their happy place? And that's where their, their <laughs> best friend is, or or where the person. When we focus on things like work life, you make it that you know don't, don't go to work. You're not spending enough time at home. Right. We have. You know, I love work. Work, 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 work is my my goal. Right, right. Yeah, that, that's a, that's an interesting concept again. Like, uh, I, because we don't know, or we don't know enough about the people, or we don't. As, as to your point, if you don't ask them, you know, what do they want in a in a particular circumstance? And you also touched on something there, I think, as well in in the conflict area, because it's become. I mean, you know, outside in in the wider society, right? People seem to have lost the ability to actually have a rational discussion. You know, there's a lot of it turns into, unfortunately, um, highly emotional and emotive and, and emotive language and stuff. And and yet in the workplace, we still need the ability to have kind of creative or constructive conflict, if you like. But we're not we're not teaching people how to do that. And we're and therefore we're either shutting it all down because we're afraid it'll spill over or or we're letting it just out of hand. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, this, this is where I can start to sound like, you know, it, it, it's true. I, I, I think to, to um, you know, teach people a lot of times, you know, if people will, will know that that's your truth. Something That's yeah. the way your, your world, if you, if you listen, you might learn something that's right. And, and you're right. You can see this stuff that we're, we're dealing with now with, um, you know, the, the amount of uh, increased random acts of vandalism and, and, and uh, you know, we've got a tent city in our downtown core and out mm-hmm. in the street and stuff. And, and um, you know, have a cognitive discussion with some acting through their their behavior and their, we we have taught people to nice that like you know what hey uh, the, the fact is as soon as somebody you know you see them that their body positioning and, and their their body elevating their, their voice mm-hmm. and so you, you're saying that person should show you all their cards like if you don't now that they're angry and the process is out the window, they're into the, you know, right? And, and, and so it's all going to come on behavior. So I'm trying to 
um, you know, to solve the problem. You can de-escalate the later, you know, like, mm -hmm. don't be condescending to resolve this problem, but you, the, the problems don't get resolved once and uh, you know that's why who said something negative and and with, it, it, they weren't thinking straight they were they were I didn't come up with this but, but I use it a lot is human beings are logical thinkers but we're bio there's a, there's a soup going on up here and what, what neurons are firing and what chemicals are being and you know cortisol and sugar, mm -hmm. the chances of you having a really expressing what how you're feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and what, and what I was finding really interesting about that too is is the is what you you were just saying there is the fact is that if people if people learned more or focus more on the listening part, I mean that's the art that I think is being lost is actually listening. Um, and then processing what the other person is saying before reacting, because we've become this reactive culture, right? It's like somebody tweets something. We react to the tweet immediately. We haven't probably even read the tweet properly or whatever, but we want to get in there first because that's what it's all about. Same as you say something to me, I can't wait to, but my comeback is going to be fantastic, right? Because I, I haven't even listened to what you've actually said. But listening here, right? It's, there's a difference hearing somebody right right yeah um and like i i, I train um, crisis management at adjuster which is the only um north america that that's recognized by these traumatic stress specialists and so counselors um and first respond with their education and go into crisis support and that kind of thing and so one thing i miss about um being able to be back there now but so much was missed of asking people when i would get into the sections on say well who here's a good listener and you watch mm -hmm. watching their friends look at them and go <laughs> because yeah, we all think we're a good listener right that's mm -hmm. um oh yeah uh, i'm, I'm Renee Brown's um, listening, uh, listening. I highly recommend anybody video by Renee Brown. It's, it's a, it's a very, you know, yeah. It, it, there's a difference in sitting there and, and, and saying, you know, oh, I'm here, and that that's why uh, you know uh, one one of the things that responders right away is you know when you think about clinical skills that you're bringing in here right now and put for mm -hmm. and think right. about you know like somebody like John you know on the worst day of your life call you're, you're going to make a you know so you just with it it's rattled you to the core is your uh, world class clinician or a psychologist or is going to be to your, your mom mm -hmm. or your brother yeah you exactly all someone we, we love he can give us glib advice. It's like, oh, there's not that bad, or you're, you're going to be okay. okay. The warmth of somebody to listen to us. Hey, um, just, just like you said, I mean, if somebody and you put your phone to the side and you face up and you say, I'm here for you, you go ahead and talk. Mm -hmm. I need the, the, the just break down. And, and we do, do spend. And I, I don't, I'm not on Facebook and I don't have a big social media person, but a huge contribution to mental health is taking in, um, you know, the one up that negative stuff. Yeah. And, and then, you know, an um, in Eastern consumption, right? right? You want to take in what, what uh, mm -hmm. what's going to cause you more stress yeah 
Yeah, yeah, it's a nice, it's it's a nice paradox that we've uh, put ourselves, uh, we placed ourselves in. Um, listen, Jeff, this has been great. So all of Jeff's information is going to be below this video. But before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about what you do. Uh, um, well, when I uh, went into, uh, I was already teaching at the just started just getting more and more calls from or for asking me to do leadership safety training and I also worked for um, a lot of and uh, uh, wellness networks across so I uh, go to the to support the people that were you know we we're spending a lot of time telling people you know I'll leave you with this human beings are they you know my, my great grand and dad evacuated through Dunkirk and and Europe, and and, and uh, he was a, a he passed away, and he brought joy to people's lives. Things we just need to uh, we need, need to. Uh, um, I I want people to, to know. I think while I'm damaged goods now, I, I I've been, you got two pass when something happens. On one you. May not stay on it, or, or may not post traumatic stress disorder, which, which is an injury, you know, which mm -hmm. really opens our eyes to me. And so, so I, I just started getting asked to do TED Talks. I said no, I did one. And then prior to COVID, I was speaking at conventions and life as it comes. So it's pretty good. Yeah, no, fantastic, Jeff, and and I would encourage people to to, to check it out. That's that's uh, that's fantastic, and I think uh, more work is more work of the type you're doing is is needed. Absolutely. So, listen, thanks again, Jeff. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see you all again soon. Bye now. Thank you, John.